Oh, I'm blocking the title of this video. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta show you. Okay, there we go. So I've got, I, I think I got a setup going right now. I, I, sorry, I'm trying to monitor this and make sure everything sounds good and making sure the stream for YouTube. And normally I promise I don't have this many tabs up, but I just figured it'd be easier just to pull up everything that we're gonna kind of go over. And uh, I don't technically have a second monitor. I mean, I do, I normally stream with like when I'm gaming, so this is my primary is my secondary. Hey yo, so hello Ace Cake, hello Emmy Barrett, hello hello everybody. Yeah, I I don't know how I, this this came up on my recommended <laughs> lo-fi beats to betray your family to. They're great. This is the starting soon screen, I suppose. Hey, welcome in, Kepsilon. Yeah, hello everybody, welcome. I suppose I'll come back in. Eh, 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 there we go. I didn't want to cover the, t I just wanted to show the title, but bring myself back in. <laughs> this is a super professional setup we have. Oh, great, the green screen's not doing its job. Awesome. Hopefully that's better, that's better. Jesus, all right. Look up Succession Eminem skit. Okay, well we got we gotta see that now. Hang on a second. I got a bad feeling I'm gonna eventually get copywritten for one reason or another. Um. Okay. So, <laughs> Succession Eminem skit. We're in the pre-show right now. So is this the one? Wait. <laughs> Tries to order Domino's. Everybody wants some of Logan's M&M's? Oh, no. <laughs> Everything I've done, I've done for my children. And I'm proud of the way hey, that they Dad, uh, together. I want some M&M's. God damn it, I... Here's I my M&M's, god damn it. Can't fuck off. Great, demonetized already, awesome. Now, right. now you go fuck off. Okay. God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> Shiv. Oh, oh I dad Tom. just opened a bag of M&M's. <laughs> Do you think he'd give me any? Siobhan, come here. I'll get in for both of us. Watch. Oh, here we go. Yeah. I don't want any of your candy, Dad. Pinky. Not even my M&M's? Wait, is this real? Yes. Hold out your hand. This is real. <laughs> Damn. You. Oh, God damn it. Jesus Christ. Oh my God, the shoulders. Get out of here. Stop. <laughs> hey, Dad. Can I have some M&M's? Oh. Okay. Logan. In my village. Oh my God. There was a man. He keep all the candy for himself. <laughs> Until one day, we find him. Oh my god. Enjoy your Eminem. <laughs> uh, and she wasn't seen for the rest of the season. Mr. Roy, I'm sorry to bother you. I uh, noticed that you have some M&Ms, and I have uh, very low blood sugar, and it's, I'm, I'm feeling kind of faint. It's not- I can't get it. It's towering over him. Get out of here. Get out of here. not serious, but I could pass oh out god. and hit my head and die. Uh, f*** off, Greg. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Ken. Oh, Jesus. Let Come me here. explain something. Still oh, want some of my M&M's? You M &Ms? can't put a value on yeah. what we do. Yeah, then put this up. Would you like to okay. hear my favorite passage? Oh, oh no. You that? Take the fucking you never money. forget that you'll never be anything more than daddy's number one candy baby. So <laughs> fuck off. For good. God damn it. I bought these M&M's with my own fucking money. Candy's for daddies, not for little babies. Candy's for daddies. Great. Honestly, great, solid opening uh, to everything so far. It's awesome. Um, hello, everybody. I guess it is technically just about 8 o'clock. Um, 
this is just going to turn into like a reaction stream at this point. But yeah, uh, I guess you could start the episode. I guess I could start the whole thing now. This is going to be a little bit different than what I... God, the green screen is bugging me out so much. Oh, whatever. It is what it is. It's imperfectly imperfect. I don't know. This is unedited. This is what it looks like. Like, whenever I'm in the recording room and I'm doing this, it's just... I cut out all the hot mess and get right down to this. But hello, everybody. Uh, I thought it'd be fun, as I said before, when I announced this little this little thingy, to do a live stream for the retrospective. I I could do like a video essay, right? But I just figured who hasn't at this point, and I don't have that kind of time. You guys want me to watch all these other shows? <laughs> so I um I don't know. I just. I kind of have this, it's going to be really low-key, like a, a casual thing. Uh, I have it opened up where there's conversations we can have via chat if anybody wants to watch live. But otherwise, I just have basically going to be going over um, some of the video essays that I have watched and what insights they've kind of, the insights they made are ones that I've kind of been picking up on now. Most of my opinions on the show have remained the same, but there are some things that I've kind of uh, that I've kind of come around to and some things I've kind of had revelations about. And then I, I found some, I just made some little like tier rankings. I haven't actually done the tiers yet, but I have rankings for, um, for like, like uh, <laughs> I'll just show you, uh, I'm going to get around to it. Um, I have the best way to do it and I'm going to have to take the long, the long route on this one, but I have a tier ranking for every episode, which I, I'm gonna have to go, I'm gonna have to reread some episode synopsis, even though I've watched all these and edited them. I, and there's no way in hell I'll be able to remember every single detail. And that's gonna be the hardest part is just doing a damn tier ranking. But I have ones for the episodes. Uh, I kind of want to start with the, 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 the seasons actually, because then it's, I, I, I want, I want a gut reaction for the seasons, get to the episodes, and perhaps as I rank the episodes, then I would change my mind about how I feel about the seasons overall. And then I kind of have it ending with a, it's a character tier list in that I don't think this is every single solitary character from the show, but it's most of the primary and supporting and just, it doesn't have every single person who has like a line, you know, but it's, it's enough. Right. So, but yeah, so succession, I, I've come away from succession. I don't know why I should lay it on at this point. Uh, did, I, did I click away from the, no, what you call the lo-fi beats? Whatever. Coming away from succession. I, I got to admit, <laughs> I, I love the show more than I thought. And the more that I think about it and I, I've started to watch some like reaction channels and I've watched these video essays and all that. I never, I, this is just really a great show. It's pretty, it's up there. I, top 10 of all time for me for sure possibly top five but also i have that kind of like my age bracket tv bias it's not like i'm gonna be like oh i loved i love lucy and i gotta tell you what the dick van dyke show is pretty swell but like I, it's just the shows that i've watched in my lifetime all right we got, oh we got the rankings coming in already two four one three every that's the crazy part what i love so much about this show is that no like every <laughs> Everybody agrees that they love it, but nobody can fully agree. I mean, there's kind of like general consensus, right? But in terms of people's favorite characters, favorite seasons, uh, how they feel about characters, the amount of... Uh, <laughs> normally, I'll say something in a video, and sometimes I'll get a call out, and somebody's like, how could you like this person? Or how could you say these things about so-and-so? With this one, literally, there'll be an episode where Roman's being Roman or something. And I'll express sympathy and the comments, the comments will be either like, oh man, I felt so bad for him. Or someone's like, oh yes, everybody feel bad for the little war criminal. Like people are divided on this show, which is the mark of good writing and great characters, I think. Because then I've seen video essays that break it down and will literally just kind of, it shows you all the kids are just like Nepo babies and they have some skill set, sure, but none of them truly, truly kind of you know i mean they they got their own works and businesses going on right but nobody's ever nobody really has earned their way right they just kind of it's hard to put into words but nobody's kind of truly earned their way 
and yet we all still we still feel for them. We're still rooting for them. We're like, oh, I think so. I think that Kendall is the obvious choice. No, Shiv has the the highest qualifications. It's even better on rewatch. I concur. Two, four, one, three. But even at its worst, it's excellent. That's what I'm saying, right? It's in my top three personally, but I've been getting into more and more shows. Interview with the Vampire. Deal, deal. A Dead to Me. Succession is so for sure. Hey, so since you guys, you know what, you you dev devotees of the cult of movie manity are right in here, I'll tell you right now, um, I've announced that I'm going to watch Interview with a Vampire. You get a real one's little inside track. Um, ahem, ahem, ahem. I, I may have already watched and recorded the first episode. That might have already happened. Uh, let me just say you're all right. So that's, that's I think that's coming. All the, by the way, I would be pumping these things out, but I'm a one man team, <laughs> also working a full time job and handling uh, social engagements. Yer, yer. Hello, welcome. You know, eh, the chat, it's small. Welcome, Anad. Welcome, Sebastian. Watch some cast interviews. The Hollywood Reporter one. I've seen some. There have been some cool, like, uh, the, uh, what do you call them? Panels, right? There have been some cool panels uh, in between seasons. I think there was a end-of-series panel that Seth Meyers hosted with most of the cast there. Of course, Jeremy Strong was a little bit occupied, you know, daddy's number one boy and all. My top three is Breaking Bad, Arcane, Succession. Yeah, I've just started Interview with the Vampire. I top my top shows. I have my Netflix top top five at one point. Um, let me see if I can pull that up real quick. Uh, not to my Dropbox. Now this is subject to change because I made my net my net my Netflix top five like years ago. But at one point, my top five Netflix shows were from five going up. It was like Midnight Mass, Queer Eye, Arcane. Mindhunter and Bojack Horseman. That since probably shifted a little bit. And we're not even counting all the other shows that I love. Like, I mean, there's a, there's definitely. I mean, I'm sorry, the chat's coming in now. Oh boy, might be a hot take for me. But three, you put three up there, really? Three, four, two, one. Interesting. That is the one that is a hot take. <laughs> Here's the crazy part. When when I started season three. The hype, I, I, like the, I was coming off the hype of season two ending, and it was the whole thing. My father, my my father's reign, I believe it has come to an end. And then that that be crazy, amazing shot of Logan with the slight sm the slight smirk of admiration of his not a killer son, and then boom, and then I got to go right back into season three, right? But everybody else that was watching it live had to wait. What was it, two plus years? So for the season three to start. And then not only was it like Ken firing on all cylinders and then the preview for the season, like the FBI raiding the building, everybody's like questioning everything. Logan's like, tell him to go away. Jerry's like, you can't tell the FBI to go away, Logan. Like the hype for season season three was very high for me. Did it end up being the, the best season? I don't know about that. But like I, I, I was right in that wave. Except four is on top. Stephen Colbert interviewed the cast just before season three. It was great. You were for a hot minute, but my first live. Yeah, hey, welcome everybody. If this is your first live, yeah. I mean, granted, I'll still make sure this video goes up, and hopefully the chat play. Oh, I, I, I pray the chat playback feature is turned on in this. I think. Let me, let me double check that before I. Oh, I, I, because I, I want there to be like, I want to make sure the chat is seeing if someone's watching the video afterwards. Oh, how shitty would that be if it wasn't? Uh, um. Well. Hopefully, I'm not too late. Details up. Customization. Want to be just customization? Slow mode. Li or live reactions are on. Participants, anybody? Okay, cool. Live chat replay. Perfect. Live chat replay shows the original messages sent anytime someone. All right, cool, 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 cool. I was worried for a second. Been a viewer for how many? I've only watched the series once, but off the top of my mind, season three, my favorite finale. Ooh, for real though, season three finale is. Uh, of course, now I'm on the spot. I'm like, hey, on, how did everything end again? Yeah, season three finale is yeah great. I mean, yeah. Or last season two finale just for the just for the chicken. 
<laughs> All right, look, 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 look. So before we get into the episode tier, like maybe we just do the tiers first. If I had to like gut reaction, oh no, hang on. If I had to tell you my gut reaction based on like how good the episodes were. Oh, damn, damn. Who's daddy's number one boy? Oh no. What would I say? I don't, what would I say? Cause like everybody always says two. And I, I'm pretty sure the more that I think back on two, those episodes were, uh, as the kids would say, gas. But like, would I say daddy's number one boy? And then, and then season four. And then, oh, what would I say? Um, Boom, boom. Is that what I do? Is that what I, is that where my head's at? Two, four, three, one. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm on the, but again, it's, this is just kind of like, it's, you only have four seasons to work with. It's like when Tarantino put the article out there that Tarantino put an article out years ago and it was like, oh, it says Tar death proof is Tarantino's least favorite film. And it's like, no, they asked him in an interview, like out of all your films, like which one is your least favorite? He still likes the movie. Like he just, out of all of them, he's like, well, if I had to put one up at the bottom, if I had to put one at the bottom, uh, season two, uh, I think most of the succession seasons start off strong and strong. So the battles for which season has the best middle episodes. Agreed. Agreed. Four is number one, just because of three, nine, and ten. Oh, yeah, for real, though. Season three had retired janitors of Idaho, a hot skirt, and too much birthday. Exactly. Succession fan base is S tier. Oh, for dude, the fan base for this show has been stellar. Stellar stuff. Like, not a hint of toxicity anywhere. Even when people disagree, they do so in meme format. It's amazing. I love it. Yeah, every finale. Oh, I got the finales of this show. Dude, the fact that season one ends with the car crash and the whole, like, just the, the scene between it. Like, I don't know what it was that had me, like, on the edge of my seat with, like, Logan just towering over Kendall and just being like, this could be what it always was meant to be. Just a sad little mistake, you know. This could kill everything. <laughs> like, so good. You should do the episode tiers first and then see I, I i was thinking that like gut reaction i would do this then i would hop into the episode descriptions instead like the i would do the episodes and as i go then i can kind of like statistically judge to see which one i thought was better kind of stopped caring about logan after the whole dlc oh dick pic thing oh i see <laughs> i thought i was supposed to say what dlc for the show logan is three number one boys connor not included <laughs> Rooting for four is the top purely for the quality of episode three and those last three. Dude, some of these, it's, how dare you forget Living Plus. It's 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 so hard to, oh my God. But at the same time, I think, I will say, in, retro, in retrospection, I have two very minor complaints about the show. And they're complaints that I think, like, they add to the realness of the show and its humanity. The things that I think, like, they have, the show has so many episodes that exist so well in a vacuum. They even said it in some of the after the episode, like retrospectives. They're like, yeah, we have a whole board full of like product launch this or uh, vacation corporate retreat this. And there's all these episodes that exist very well in a vacuum. And I feel like sometimes they would say, okay, what should we use? And then they look at another board of like narrative beats and like, how can we combine these two? So sometimes they feel not out of place, but they just kind of are an episode. And then... That kind of ties into my secondary minor complaint, which is that the show has so many characters and they're so, even the smallest characters, the side characters are so detailed and important, but sometimes people just disappear. It's so, it's crazy to me how characters that are so important in like season one or two or come in for an episode and you're like, oh, this guy could turn the tide and then just boom, they're gone. Like, <laughs> that's why when I do the character list, I had to look up character names because I low key forgot who half the people were. It's like Game of Thrones. It's like then the, se the, the season finale hits and you're in the, 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 the damn church and you're looking at the people like, uh, oh, yeah, so and so you were in season one episode to Jesus Christ, you came back like. Succession DLC win, yeah. A Stewie expansion pack. Oh, if you want that, you gotta watch that. Uh, oh, what's that shitty Liam Neeson movie? The uh, with the uh, which one? But like the the car and it's um, and he can't stop. Like he he's being told what to do over the phone. There's a bomb. Stewie's in that. He has a little cameo and he's looking at a Ferrari. Succession Twitter's obsessed with more su suck content. 
dudes are kind of insane. Oh, I, I Twitter in, in general would be insane. I believe it. Gary was disappearing indefinitely. Oh yeah, rip Naomi. Rip Naomi. I was shit like they were toxic together when I think about it in retrospect, but I was really hoping, God, I was hoping for an arc where <laughs> Ken and Naomi meet and they kind of like are maybe good influences and they get sober together, but no, no. Let's see. Very fair. What did happen? What did happen to Lauren C? Yeah, for real. No, he, uh, so he got an invitation to this, uh, private, uh, dining experience on an island where a very famous chef was hosting this uh, extravagant meal. I think Anya Taylor Joy was there too. And it was a whole, like, every course means something. And then things get a little bit messy and all that. But, like, by the end of it, they had s'mores. So, I mean, I think that Lawrence actually had a pretty good, uh, pretty good time at the end of his whole thing. <laughs> Not menu. <laughs> uh, at least we got Marsha. I was, dude, yeah, Marsha got the, what was it, like, season three? I think she shows up, like, she, at least they acknowledge that she just disappeared because Logan's flights of fancy. Anyway, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked here crazy ass movie i think if i recall yeah mark my lot exactly uh uh brought in some some there's some actors in the menu that like well since i saw the menu first i was watching succession i was like ah, uh, uh, the whole like hop uh, like the whole meme like it was just like recognizing people that's me with greg now by the way the amount of things that greg's uh actor is in that i either didn't realize or the same thing with logan roy and so now whenever i'm watching something like like deadpool and wolverine i'm seeing it tomorrow night and nobody in my friend group as soon as they show tom is like an important figure in the tva and i'm like oh my god i got tom in here and everybody's like nobody else reacted they're just like who's that like i swear my lot is doing the Harry Potter show. Oh, problematic. But I'll watch it, though. Alessandro, the guy who asked Kendall in episode one if he wants to call your dad one episode. The actor even was billed in opening credits, then gone forever. Yeah, he's in the character list. <laughs> I think he is. Like, one episode. Naomi was so good to Kendall and too much birthday in the season two finale on the yacht. Probably wasn't always like that between them, though. Yeah, I felt, well, I felt more... Maybe she, like, felt, like, indebted at that point. Like, what else can she do aside from just try to, like... She clearly couldn't help him in the way that he needed help. So she was just trying to be a presence and, like, offer physical reassurances and such. <gasps> Message retracted. Oh. Producers were satisfied with the series. Could have done another season. Yeah, and everybody, of course, is like, one of the one of these spinoffs. It's one of those things where... It's like Breaking Bad, right? At the height of its... Well... It's like Lost, it's like Breaking Bad. There's a bunch of shows out there where like height of their popularity and they're like, all right, we're going to end it after this season. And people are like, don't end it. But I'd rather that a show end it when they have a clear thought out like like course, like a, a roadmap, right? Then to have a show keep on pushing and pushing. Like I, as much as I love Supernatural and I do, I love that show for so many reasons. That show went on a little bit too long. <laughs> like, dude oh my god um technically it comes well so it it's out tomorrow but the first showings are tonight but i already scheduled this so i'm seeing it in imax tomorrow night but technically there's already showings that are like they're this plane right now technically but yeah deadpool and wolverine you met brian crox in real life oh shit Managed in a hotel. We didn't have a card on file for his room. He went a little Logan Roy on us. Dude, yeah, he is, like, true to character. That tweet where he, he's ripping into Ridley Scott and he's like, Napoleon's a like a terrible movie. I would have, and oh my god, Joaquin, don't get me started. Not what I would have done. I would have done it better. I would have played the character better. I, I think they should have made a better movie. Like, he ripped into Ridley Scott on a whim on Twitter just because, like, nobody asked him nobody prompted it like really scott wasn't calling out logan roy's career he just or sorry brian cox's career but you know better call saul's peak oh 100 percent, 100 percent. yeah top shows for me i mean breaking bad's up there i gotta revisit breaking bad because better call saul i might be in the the minor the potentially minority opinion that it's actually better than breaking bad i think because vince gilligan was getting his sea legs more and then we got more like symbolism and cinema cinematography the narratives had like these arcs that became like very poetic and cyclical and just very just artistically done you know episodes and scenes and characters and all that and you know if for a prequel prequels got to do it right and a prequel can be very bad but for you to be able to have a a prequel that lasts what was it five seasons and be that good i'm just saying especially because it was a prequel and it was so good as a prequel 
I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, see? I think we're all on the same page. Like, no denying, Breaking Bad is iconic. It is iconic television. It is so important. It is definitely still up there, and it's still, like, art. And there's some perfect episodes in there from, um, what, uh, Ozymandias? Ozymandias, however you want to say it. Ozymandias to, uh, I'm going to forget him now, but they're, you know, what, Felina's the season finale, I think? But there's some like it's it's one of those things where it's like Succession, Breaking Bad, BoJack Horseman shows that have at least a few episodes, at least one or two, if not a few, of what you would call like perfect television, just a perfect episode, period, in my opinion. Pros got got that held to the OG in them. <laughs> kind of funny we got it before the USA. Oh yeah, show is beautiful. Show is beautiful, man. Dude, like not show. As oh my god, like Nacho Vodka as a character, oh like I just one Kim Wexler, oh my god, don't get me started on how much I love Kim, fucking Wexler. What an amazing character. Crawl space, oh fucking ah, the the pan out the la oh, Jesus, oh my god, so many great moments. <laughs> Let me die, Walter. <laughs> We should do a best succession quotes category. Oh my God. Yeah, there's so many good quotes. Anyway, we're just talking at this point, but Lalo, Lalo, my baby girl. <laughs> Fuck Lalo, Lalo Salamanca. Dude, what is it? I almost said Tony. Is it Tony Danza? No, Ted Danza. Whatever. I'm forgetting the actor's name, but my God, what a perfect portrayal. One of those up there, like a perfect portrayal of a, um, what'd you call him? A psychopath, sociopath. Anyway. Let's uh let's let's try to get into it, shall we? 